NASA has revealed that we are on the brink of witnessing a rare celestial explosion. Interestingly, this event is unrelated to the much-anticipated supernova of the well-known star Betelgeuse. Instead, it concerns the unexpected appearance of a nova. The term nova means new in Latin, indicating a new star's emergence in the sky. This astronomical event is characterized by the sudden appearance of a bright new star that slowly dims over time. This remarkable nova will take place in a star system called T Coronae Borealis, TCB, located in the constellation of Corona Borealis, about 3,000 light years from Earth. This binary system comprises a red giant and a white dwarf in a 227 day orbital period. Such an event is exceedingly rare, with only about 10 occurrences expected in our Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers are particularly excited about this event because T Coronae Borealis, TCRB, has not been visible to the naked eye for 80 years. Historical records indicate observations of this star in 127 AD and 1787, with its first recorded nova occurring in 1866. TCRB made another remarkable appearance in the 1940s, which captivated astronomers and led to continuous monitoring since then. TCRB, also known as the Blaze Star, experiences an outburst approximately every 80 years. During these events, its brightness increases dramatically, making it visible in the sky for several days or weeks. After the outburst, the star gradually fades and remains hidden from view for the next 80 years, making these occurrences extremely rare. Consequently, only a few people in history have had the opportunity to witness this explosion in the sky. Astronomers are now predicting the next outburst of TCRB, which promises to be a spectacular event, further fueling their anticipation and excitement. NASA has revealed that we are on the brink of witnessing a rare celestial explosion. Interestingly, this event is unrelated to the much-anticipated supernova of the well-known star Betelgeuse. Instead, it concerns the unexpected appearance of a nova. The term nova means new in Latin, indicating a new star's emergence in the sky. This astronomical event is characterized by the sudden appearance of a bright new star that slowly dims over time. This remarkable nova will take place in a star system called T Coronae Borealis, TCRB, located in the constellation of Corona Borealis, about 3,000 light years from Earth. This binary system comprises a red giant and a white dwarf in a 227-day orbital period. Such an event is exceedingly rare, with only about 10 occurrences expected in our Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers are particularly excited about this event because TCRB has not been visible to the naked eye for 80 years. Historical records indicate observations of this star in 127 AD and 1787, with its first recorded nova occurring in 1866. TCRB made another remarkable appearance in the 1940s, which captivated astronomers and led to continuous monitoring since then. TCRB, also known as the Blaze Star, experiences an outburst approximately every 80 years. During these events, its brightness increases dramatically, making it visible in the sky for several days or weeks. After the outburst, the star gradually fades and remains hidden from view for the next 80 years, making these occurrences extremely rare. Consequently, only a few people in history have had the opportunity to witness this explosion in the sky. Astronomers predict that the next outburst will occur between April and September this year, meaning it could happen at any moment. This gives us a unique opportunity to witness this once-in-a-lifetime explosion in the sky with our naked eyes. The upcoming nova of TCRB is a fleeting event. It will appear and soon fade from view. But wouldn't it be amazing 
to stay connected with the cosmos every day? This celestial phenomenon predominantly occurs within a binary system, characterized by the presence of both a red giant and a white dwarf. Nova events are broadly categorized into three types, classical, dwarf, and recurrent. TCRB serves as an exemplar of a recurrent nova, distinguished by its recurrent bursts triggered by continuous mass transfer from the red giant to the white dwarf. A white dwarf star represents the remnants of a low to medium mass star that has depleted its nuclear fuel and shed its outer layers. Despite being comparable in size to Earth, white dwarves possess masses akin to that of the Sun, rendering them extraordinarily dense. To illustrate, a mere teaspoon of white dwarf material would weigh 5.5 tons on Earth, equivalent to the mass of an elephant. Within a recurrent nova system, the white dwarf gravitationally captures material, primarily hydrogen, from its larger companion, the red giant. This accreted material gradually accumulates, forming a swirling disk known as an accretion disk around the white dwarf. As Over this material time. accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf, the pressure and temperature on the accreting star's surface dramatically rise. Sometimes, these conditions soar to as high as 10 million Kelvin. The extreme heat initiates rapid and explosive nuclear reactions transforming the hydrogen into heavier elements. These explosive reactions generate a significant energy output, leading to the ejection of a large amount of accumulated material from the white dwarf's surface. This ejection results in a brief yet intense burst of light. After the outburst, the cycle repeats as the white dwarf resumes accumulating material from the red giant until another outburst is triggered. Recurrent novae, like TCRB, undergo these outbursts approximately every 10 to 100 years. Presently, after 80 years of accreting material, TCRB stands on the threshold of another potential outburst, adding to the anticipation and excitement among astronomers worldwide. The white dwarf in the TCB system is on the brink of another nova event, the other two types of novae, dwarf and classical, exhibit distinct characteristics compared to recurrent novae. While both classical and recurrent novae share a similar underlying process, classical novae occur much less frequently, with intervals ranging from 30,000 to 100,000 years. This rarity makes them challenging to track. The reason for recurrent novae occurring as often as every decade, while classical novae do not, despite their similar mechanisms, remains incompletely understood. Some astronomers suggest that the frequency of outbursts depends on the mass of the white dwarf and the rate at which it accumulates material from its companion star. In contrast, dwarf novae are caused by instabilities within the accretion disk around the white dwarf, which is a mechanism distinct from that driving recurrent and classical novae. It's essential to note that a nova differs from a supernova, as the former involves a sudden increase in brightness due to nuclear fusion on the surface of a white dwarf, whereas the latter represents the catastrophic explosion of a massive star. A supernova is a significantly more dramatic and destructive event, marking the culmination of a star's life cycle. Supernovae occur in two main scenarios. In type 1 supernovae, a white dwarf in a binary system accretes material from its companion until it reaches a critical mass, triggering a catastrophic collapse and an explosive release of energy. In type 2 supernovae, a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, leading to a core collapse under its own gravity and resulting in a powerful explosion. This explosion can outshine an entire galaxy and often leads to the creation of either a neutron star or a black hole. Unlike novae, supernovae do not recur in the same star system. Essentially, while both novae and supernovae 
involve explosive brightness and energy release, supernovae are much more potent and signify the complete destruction of a star. In contrast, novae involve temporary instabilities that do not result in the destruction of the white dwarf. Supernovae also play a crucial role in distributing elements across the cosmos, thereby contributing to the chemical evolution of galaxies, which novae influence to a lesser extent. Astronomers have been closely monitoring TCB for 80 years, during which it has displayed some unusual but consistent signs of outbursts, ordinarily TCB with an apparent magnitude of 10, is classified as a dim star, dimmer even than Neptune. The term apparent magnitude denotes how bright a celestial object appears from Earth, observed through telescopes or other detection devices. The apparent magnitude scale operates inversely Thus, a lower number signifies a brighter object. To illustrate, a star with a magnitude of 2 is approximately 500 times brighter than one with a magnitude of 10. Under optimal conditions of clear dark skies and favorable atmospheric transparency, the human eye can typically discern stars up to a magnitude of 6. TCB gained renown within the astronomical community following a luminous outburst in 1866. Since then, it has remained under continuous surveillance. Another notable outburst occurred 80 years later, in 1946, propelling its brightness to magnitudes 2 and 3, respectively. Anticipations for the forthcoming NOVA event suggest similar levels of luminosity. Astronomers have diligently observed the star system meticulously documenting its various stages over the past eight decades. In recent years, they've noted intriguing resemblances to its behavior preceding the 1946 outburst. Particularly between 2015 and 2016, TCB displayed a notable surge in brightness, reminiscent of its behavior in 1938, which preceded the 1946 outburst by eight years. These patterns suggest that the star was entering a phase of heightened activity. More recently, in 2023, the brightness of TCRB significantly declined to levels akin to those observed in 1945, just before the last major outburst. This recent dimming further suggests that TCB may be on the verge of another substantial outburst, anticipated to occur in 2024. This cycle of brightening and dimming is inherent to the star's natural rhythm and aids astronomers in forecasting its future behavior. Now the pivotal question arises, where should one gaze in the sky to witness this once-in-a-lifetime event? However, TCB remains elusive to the naked eye under normal conditions due to its faintness. Upon its NOVA event, TCB will briefly blaze with brightness exceeding the naked eye's limit and standing out as a prominent star in the Corona Borealis constellation. Subsequently, it will gradually dim, vanishing from sight for another 80 years. To witness this spectacle, locate the Big Dipper, or the Plough, in the Ursa Major constellation, then follow the handle until you reach the U-shaped Corona Borealis, or the Northern Crown. Alpha Chi B shines as the brightest star here. Tracing eastward along the crown's curve from Alpha, you'll encounter Gamma Chi RB and Delta Chi RB. TCB lies approximately 2.2 degrees east of Delta Chi RB. During its NOVA event, TCB is anticipated to radiate with the brilliance of Alpha Chi RB. While typically invisible to the naked eye, TCB can presently be observed with telescopes or binoculars. Furthermore, you can explore TCB in NASA's SkyView Virtual Observatory, accessing imagery captured across various wavelengths. This virtual observatory presents TCB's images sourced from advanced telescopes. Thank you for watching the video. Please support us by liking and subscribing. Best wishes.